Hi guys, it's Tony Allen here from the Airsoft Virgins again. Today I thought I'd do a bit of experimentation where I'd play around with trying to upgrade this. So this is my Raven EU-17 and I've noticed of late when I've been shooting it and using it the, on the chronograph that the FPS is a bit inconsistent. So I'm getting nearly 350, then get 250. It mainly tries to stay around the 260, 270 mark, but I'm getting a few that are, are, are really high or really low. So what I thought I'd do is have a little play around and I've uh, been looking online and looking at a few friends Instagram accounts and who they follow and I found these guys. So these are Waldo Customs. So I've got a recoil spring and I've also got a nozzle spring as well. So what I'm going to do is show you how on your Glock, uh, some of them are a little bit different but quite a few like the Wii and Raven, they're pretty much the same, is how to change both your nozzle spring and your recoil spring. So the way I'm going to do it is, I've got my chronograph ready, so I'm going to shoot 10 shots with my normal springs, just to see what the FPS comes out to be. Then I'm going to change the springs over onto the Waldo Customs, and then I'm going to shoot 10 more through it as well, just to see A, if I get a higher FPS, and B, if I get a more consistent FPS going through the chronograph. So let's get started. Okay, so as you saw, the actual FPS was all over the show. We had some all the way up in the high 300s, we had some of them really low. Yeah, so let's have a little play around and let's take this apart. So the first thing you want to do is just cut your gun. And then you'll notice, just here, and on the other side as well, you've got two little latches. So what you want to do is press those two down, using your thumb and your forefinger, and then with your thumb, just pull your slide down. Then just put this to one side for the minute, because we're going to go in here. So you'll notice straight away there's a few little bits in here. So the first thing we've got then is the recoil spring. So at the very back, just press that along and pull that out and put that to one side for the mix. That's one of the springs that we're going to be changing. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to pull out the hop-up unit in the inner barrel. And that will have a separate outer barrel cover in it as well. So keep them together because we're not going to be touching them just yet. And we're not going to be touching them at all, really. We're going to put them together. And in here then, you should just be left with your nozzle housing, your nozzle, and also the screw that holds it into place, which is also attached to your rear sight as well. So, get your screwdriver, and then in the back of it, you'll see there's a little, see we get the light right, there you go. There's just a little screw just up here. So I'll unscrew that. And then once your rear sight comes off, you can flip that over and then everything comes out. So now you've literally just got your slide. When you take your nozzle unit off, you will notice that, I don't know what this is called, but that basically holds everything in place, and then you've got your screw. So make sure you don't lose anything. Okay, so now the other spring is just here. So you can see that little, little black thing here just sticking out. So be very careful that doesn't go flying away. So gently slide your nozzle unit forward, because that will push everything, and then you'll be able to pull out your nozzle spring. And on your nozzle spring, as you can see there, you've got, wait, it'll stop shaking. You've got this little thing that sticks in it, so don't lose that, whatever you do, don't lose that. So that's it, so that's your first one that we're gonna be changing. And then you've got your second one, which is your blowback spring. So we'll change the nozzle one first while we're here. Now I did notice when uh, I got these Waldo Custom ones, uh, you got two, which is pretty cool. And also as well, they're uh, gold, as, they're gold as well, or brass, so they look the part, they look really good. And also, they feel stronger, and as I'm holding it like that, you can see one shaking, and the other one isn't, so it feels like it's gonna do a better job already just from looking at it. So all you do now is you get your blowback housing, which can just come straight out, and if you take it out, you'll notice 
If I hold it that way, there's a little notch here. Okay, that's where the spring sits once it's inside the housing, similar to that. Okay, so what you do is that is on the bottom. You just slide it in ever a little bit. You then find your spring, which you've lost. There you go. And then your spring just slides down with it. And then it will stop when you get there. Put your little plunger or whatever it's called on the top of it. And then gently slide them both down. Okay. Make sure nothing gets caught. Make sure it's nice and loose as it's going down there. And then what I like, I've been told to do, or what I should do, is put a little bit silicon gun oil on it as well. So once that's in, before I put the cover on it, I'll just spray some oil into it as well. There we go, so that's down. Spray a little bit of oil down there as well. There we go. And push that down. Now, once that's done, I'm gonna bring the slide back, because you'll notice there where me finger it there's an extra little partition there so that when you slide this in you're gonna need like a little dibbler or something I've just got just a little flat piece of screwdriver you want to just push it behind it without losing everything see this is why it's quite fiddly so you just want to gently use me thumbnail for now just so I can get this I'm just going to lay it down on the front, just because I'm scared of losing that little bit. So, literally push that back, slide it down, and then using your little dibbler, you just make sure that you can just see it behind there. There you go. So everything's all put back in now, so that when your nozzle fires forward, that's the compression that it's using to fire forward. So that's that one done. And then what we do now is we put it all back together again. So we put our little piece in there, get your sight, put that on the back, make sure you have it the right way around. And then you can put your little screw back in there, tighten that up. And that's it. So that now is one of them done. And it's that quick. It, it is really, really quick. This one I find a little bit harder to put on because you have to pull it back and then you have this little section here and you can see that it's sort of a half moon if you like. So there's a little gap there. What you need to be able to do is pull it back and I haven't found an easy way of doing this. And we'll just get your nails and just pry it off. There you go. And that's what it looks like, a little half moon. And then that will allow you then to completely take the spring off and that recall uh, spring and the section that's with is literally three pieces and that's it. So then, get your spring out. And I'm impressed with myself that this isn't going wrong. Trust me, I thought this was gonna go a lot worse. It just shows either A, it's incredibly easy, or B, I'm incredibly lucky. So now, you can see your spring's a lot bigger. So you slide your spring right back, keep a bit of tension on it, so like that. And then literally, just pop this little thing over the top. There you go, so that's back in again now, see? So when I let go, there's my spring. Now I don't know how the proper way to lube the spring is, so I'm literally just going to spray it. There we go. So I don't know if that's too much, not enough or what, but I'm guessing more lube's better than next to none. So that's that bit done. I'm just going to put a tiny bit back down here as well. There you can see. There you go. So a bit of lube down there, a bit of lube on that bit. Everyone loves a bit of lube. Right, now, hop up unit back in place. Okay, now what sometimes does happen is these little bits fall off the front. Don't lose them, and also make sure you don't lose the little bit of the plastic that you can see just there. So pop that back on the top, put that back in. Now I will at some point try and get some close-ups of doing this. I just thought I'd do it quickly and just try it out because I was quite impressed how quick I did that, to be fair. So it must be very, very easy. Because I'm not massively technically minded. Well, I am technically minded. I'm just not very good at implementing it. So there we go. So that's our all back together. 
And then all we do, and this is the bit that I always find fiddly, is literally just slide that back in place. And I don't know why, because I find it keeps catching there and it sticks out the top, see, like that. So I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong or... Two hours later. So uh, what was happening then, I've managed to get it on now. The actual nozzle spring wasn't pushed down all the way, uh, so it was interfering with it. It's all looking good now. So what we're going to do is we've got our magazine, we've got our BBs in it, we're going to gas it up, and we're going to fire the Waldorf custom ones through the chrono graph and see what happens. So there you go, so yeah, better consistency, more FPS, so it's done the job. It's not gone up by much, but it has gone up by a, a decent amount. So it does mean that we're going to be more consistent and we're also hopefully going to get better shots on a longer distance. So yeah, the link to World of Customs will be in the uh, description below. But yeah, so that was the Snappy Boy Recall Spring. And also as well, then we've got uh, the little Snappy Nozzle, uh, nozzle Spring, sorry. So yeah, definitely worth a look. Uh, thanks for watching and take care.